Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. I received a package today and it contained my Love Lux Beauty Order. So I purchased three palettes from them. This is the Something Fun palette. It's got some blues and some greens. The Winter Woods palette. And the Topes and Dreams palette. So today I thought I would do a little look with the Something Fun palette and do some swatches of everything. So before I get started, I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this, um, this Something Fun palette so I can decide what shades I want to use. All right, here we have Excited, Hizzle, Chill. Next we have Bang On, Goat, and Eek. One thing I will say is these shimmers, they're pretty, pretty soft and chunky when you dip your finger in. I mean, they're coming, they're paying off nicely, but they're a tad messy. The mattes feel very buttery though. Good. Next is Savage, Freaky Deaky, and it's all good. So this is what we're looking like. And I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do next. So I'm gonna start off with my eyes because those shimmers are very chunky and I'm not entirely sure how the fallout is gonna be, but I'm guessing it's not going to be exactly minimal. All right, so I'm gonna start off with chill and chill, and I'm gonna build that up in my crease. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do a cut crease today. I am impressed at the pigmentation of this blue because sometimes these pale blues don't come out the way you want them to. Next, I'm gonna take Eek, and I'm gonna, ooh, this has a lot of kick up. I'm gonna deepen up that crease, and put that on the outer edge. All right, now there's not, there's not exactly a dark matte to deepen anything up, so I'm gonna use All Good, which is a metallic, but it's not like a blinding metallic. So I'm gonna take that and use that to deepen out the outer corner and see how we do. And 
again, just going to build up that crease so I don't lose any of my depth. my crease and I'm going to use my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 24 and a little tiny angled brush Okay, now that the crease is cut, I'm going to deepen up that outer corner again with the deep blue shade, all good, and blend that in a little bit with the concealer, but just a little. Now I'm going to use Hizzle, which is this green teal with the gold shimmers. I'm gonna put that really close to the blue. Try and blend them in a little bit. Now I've cleaned off my brush and I'm going to use Bang On, which is this nice lime shade, again with gold kind of shimmers. Now I've cleaned off my brush and I'm just going to try and blend everything in here. I'm going to use my Pixie Glitter Topper. I don't know what it's called, but it's in the shade Pixie Green. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand and I'm going to use a little angled brush. This is from Cleona. It's a little thick. That's probably okay. And I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna trace my cut crease to add a hint of glitter. Okay, I'm gonna try that with uh, Sigma E10. It's a, like a liner brush and see if that works a little bit better.
Okay, that's the eyes done for now. And we get to move on to the base. So I'm gonna start with um, an under eye corrector. This is the Tarte CC under eye corrector in light medium. And I'm just gonna take this on my little sponge. And I just wanna do this, because I'm using blues, to make sure that all the blue shadow and the blue from my dark circles don't add together to become something unpleasant. I forgot to prime, so I'm just gonna throw on some of my Pixie Rose Flash Bomb and hope the shadows on my fingers don't make my face blue. I'm gonna do a little bit of underpainting. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in the lightest shade, fair to medium. That's quite the little range there, Miss Charlotte. I was a little heavy-handed we got a little out of control but we're putting foundation on anyway so it's fine this is a little concoction of the Mac studio fix and a lightener and the thrive CC cream and I made this so it would match me because it was too dark but it is mostly the Mac studio fix Next for concealer, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 24. For powder, I'm going to use the Fenty powder, and this is the shade Butter. Okay, now for bronzer. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer in Sweet Tea. This is a recent addition as I am on a quest for bronzers. And it's very warm.
for blush and highlight, I'm, I'm gonna use the new MAC collection for the Lunar New Year. So this is the blush. It is in the shade uh, Dynastic Fantastic Powder Blush. Pink with a sort of orange shade down at the bottom. You can mix them or wear them separately. I'm gonna try and stick mostly to the pink side today. I don't like this brush. This is very firmly pressed. And the Lunar New Year highlight is this beautiful dragon embossing in Double Gleam. Now, this is an existing shade. They've repackaged it with this fancy embossing. And if you already have this highlight, don't go out and buy this because it's double gleam. It's not new. I didn't have double gleam and I'd wanted to buy double gleam for quite a while. So I took this opportunity to get the limited edition packaging. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use my Precisely My Brow in 3.5 and my M Cosmetics Brow Cream in Blonde. And I'll be back after I do that. All right, let's finish up the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my crease shades. I'm gonna use Chill and, what was this one? Eek, along the lower lash line. With a flat shader brush, I'm gonna use All Good, that dark blue that we used again. And I'm just gonna focus this right on the outer edge. All right, in my waterline, I'm gonna put Splash by Dose of Colors. And as my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use Ice Dream. It's a ColourPop Super Shock shadow and it has like a blue to pink kind of a shift. All right, I'm gonna set that down with Fix Plus, put on some mascara, and then I'll be back to show you the look before lashes. Okay, this is the look without lashes. I am wearing a Rimmel lip liner in 032, 032, a NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in corset, and then I just kind of did a little deepening out on the edges with my Milt liquid lipstick in the shade Fawn. Making things very complicated. And there we have it. This is the finished look. I am wearing, I believe the Kiss Pixie Lashes. And that is my look using the Lovelux Beauty Something Fun palette. Now, let's go over my thoughts on this. The mattes that I used were nice. I used two out of the three mattes. And I used two out of the six 
metallics. The mats were nice. I liked them. They blended well. They were pigmented. Very soft. Very nice. The metallics, they're kind of weak. This green shade, I sprayed it and everything. It didn't really pop and it faded. I just reapplied a little bit right now to, um, I put some liner to hide my lash band and I went a little bit high. So, so I added a little bit of the green to hide my hiding, <laughs> to cover up a little bit of that uh, liquid liner so it wasn't too harsh. And it went on way more pigmented than it was looking like on my eyes. So it definitely faded through the time that it took for me to do my face makeup, which I don't like. I will say I did not use this middle shade Goat, which in the swatches was the most impressive one. So I'd be curious to see how that one lasts, but I don't know. We'll have to see the next time I play with this. On the whole, I like the color story, but I'm not entirely sold. And if anyone's interested in these palettes, I will also say they are a generic white palette and this on the back is a sticker and this on the front is a sticker. They are not custom palettes for each palette. They just put a sticker on. Let's play with some swatches from the other palettes. Let's start with the Topes and Dreams. We have Reality, Chance, Manifest. Hmm, that looks nice. Dream, Moment, Go-Getter. Take Charge, Amp. Ambition and Define. Yes. So that's what the taupe palette looks like. This, the mattes seem nice, similar in formula to the Something Fun palette. And even the metallics seem a little bit some of them are hit and miss. Like this one here, Moment, it went on looking really nice, but when I look at it up close, it's just not very impressive. I'll have to see how they play on the eye, but they feel very similar to the other palette, so I don't think the shimmer formula is different. So across the board, maybe the shimmers just aren't that great. All right. The Winter Woods palette. This, I believe, this is their most recent release. And it just came out, I do believe. These are very chunky. So we have Icicle, Snow Kissed Oak, Below Zero. They look nice. They're not they're not very impactful. They're definitely not like a metallic metallic. And that just seems to be how the formula is on across the board. We have chills, December night, Wonderland. I do like this shade. It's like a denim blue with a gold shimmer. That's nice. Brisk. Non-existent on my skin tone. Acorn and hot chocolate. Just gonna see if I can build up brisk just so you can see it. No, not gonna happen. So that's what that one looks like. Just for argument's sake, I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter glue on my hand and test out, let's go with Icicle. That's what it looks like there. 
and that's what it looks like swatched. It's, it looks so, let's see if I can get this to focus, it looks so chunky without the glitter glue. It does look much more smooth with the glitter glue, but on the whole, I'm probably gonna have to say that I don't really recommend these palettes. Which is sad, I do like the color stories and I'm gonna keep playing with them and see if I can get them to work a little bit better, but I'm a little disappointed. I did kind of know going into this that they might not be the best palettes ever, but those shimmers, normally it's the mattes that give you a hard time, not the shimmers. So that's interesting. That concludes this video. Hit like and subscribe if you want to and ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog. See you next time. Bye.